There is new reporting out that President Joe Biden is indeed making himself orange like Donald Trump. Now, I know some of you will laugh. Some of you will say, David, what does this matter? This is actually uh, uh, related to a number of really important elements to this race, maybe unfortunately so. Uh, and I've talked about this before. So Business Insider has an article. Uh, You're not losing your mind. Biden is getting more orange. It has uh, comparison pictures. It has examples of Joe Biden's skin tone from his recent interview with George Stephanopoulos and uh, the 4th of July event and so on and so forth. Listen, um, I have been talking about this for a while. You can check out my interview with the ice coffee hour guys uh, when I was in Vegas. Um, what was that? A couple months, three, three months ago, four months ago. There is an unfortunate reality where a bunch of the perception of who is healthier and robust and more vigorous comes from the color of Donald Trump's hair and the color of Donald Trump's skin. And one of the things I've been saying for a while is that if Biden used the orange clown makeup that Trump uses and dyed his hair the way Trump does, Trump also has had hair transplants, which is a whole other story. Biden would appear to be more robust and vigorous, even though it wouldn't really change anything about him. They should have thought about this for the presidential debate. Biden being orange, uh, you know, uh, probably at this point it, it, to start dyeing his hair would be too much of a change. The uh, self tanner is probably somewhat more subtle, but I don't think that it would have hidden the fact that Biden got confused at multiple points during the debate. <clears throat> but in terms of the physical appearance, it would have helped. This stuff makes a huge difference. Think back to the Nixon Kennedy debate example where Kennedy was not sweating and had makeup on and kind of looked put together. Nixon, I believe the story is he had sort of a fever or a flu, which might have contributed to the sweating. But whatever precautions could have been taken did not appear to have been taken. And a lot about the physical appearance. Nixon, if I recall, had like a five o'clock shadow sort of thing. It, the physical appearance was a big part of it. Uh, this is a big, big deal. Now, I wish it didn't matter. To some degree, I wish we had a population where the debate is really interpreted only through what is said. And as I've said before, if you look at a transcript of the debate, even with Joe Biden stumbles, it doesn't look nearly as bad for Joe Biden. And Trump tells dozens and dozens of lies. So I don't have a problem with this. And Trump's already doing it, you know. So when you see these pictures of Biden looking more tan, uh, what's someone going to say? Oh, Biden's making himself tan. Yes, so is Trump. Trump's orange. You see Trump's self tanner all over his white shirt collars and the entire thing. This really does make a difference. If I had any criticism, it would be that the Biden campaign didn't start doing this sooner. They should have done it at the debate. Now, at this point, is it going to be a difference maker? I, probably not. Probably not. But if the idea is to limit the degree to which Biden looks pale and old, and he looked very, very pale in a bunch of recent appearances before they started to use the the, the apparent self tanner. Uh, it is going to help just on the margins. It's not going to replace being able to connect his presidency to solving many of the problems that Trump exacerbated. And the reminder that if Trump comes in, ushered in behind him will be a whole bunch of horrible ideas, including those in Agenda 47 and Project 2025. Of course, that has to be top of the list. But if you can look a little less pale rather than more pale, it's probably a good thing. Now, of course, the risk becomes that Biden ends up looking like Trump and uh, Trump does it to such a cartoonish degree that uh, maybe at the end of the day it's counterproductive. But this doesn't bother me at all. And uh, it makes perfect sense, given that so much of this race has become essentially visual interpretations of the apparent uh, vigorousness of each of the candidates.